With the MCAD co-designer extension, you can determine the exact board geometry on the MCAD side at any time in the design cycle. After connecting to the workspace, we get the opportunity to start working with a mechanical engineer. For this purpose, we use the MCAD co-designer panel. At the moment, it consists of buttons to pull changes, push changes, and a currently empty activity feed. To give the board to the mechanical engineer, we press the push and share button. Then we can specify a comment, which will be displayed in the activity feed after the board has been transferred. We strongly recommend that you specify explanations of the work done to be able to restore the project history in the future. Having specified a comment, click post to create a snapshot of a PCB. If your mechanical engineer is not invited to the workspace, you can use this window to invite them by specifying their email address. Later, you can use the push button to skip the invitation dialog. At this stage, the mechanical engineer can already start their work in their MCAD system. To do this, they need to pull a board snapshot from the server by pressing the same button in the Altium co-designer panel. After selecting a project and saving it, an identical PCB will appear in the working window of the MCAD system. Since we always work in the context of an assembly, we will add the PCB as an assembly within the device assembly where the enclosure parts are already placed. Use MATE to properly place the PCB in the enclosure. After that, the mechanical engineer can freely edit the board shape for the enclosure specifics. An initial sketch that previously formed the board shape can be safely removed. The MCAD toolkit gives a mechanical engineer the ability to create a board shape very precisely and quickly. For example, the offset entities tool can help to create an appropriate gap between the board and the enclosure in just a few clicks. The hole tool is used to create mounting holes, allowing you to set any desired hole size. Also, a mechanical engineer can set sizes and limitations for board sketch elements, holes and cutouts. To create cutouts, first create a new sketch on the board surface and then apply the extruded cut tool. When working on the PCB shape, consider the fact that some changes from several operations such as 3D chamfers, fillets and others will not be transferred to the ECAD system. A more complete and detailed list of restrictions can be seen in the Altium documentation on the official website. After defining the shape of a board in the context of a device assembly, we open the tab containing it as its own assembly. All the changes made earlier have been transferred here, and now the PCB should be transferred to Altium Designer to the electrical engineer. To do this, we use the push button in the Altium co-designer panel, specify a comment and upload it to the server, updating the board snapshot. After the board has been pushed by the mechanical engineer, the electrical engineer sees the new update in the MCAD co-designer panel with the option to either view the proposed changes or discard them. When they click on view changes, a list with each design change made is shown. Every single change can be seen in a live preview and if it is wrong, it can be disabled without affecting other changes. If a change is ignored, it will appear in the change list again if an MCAD engineer performs a push again. Be aware that if you choose to ignore a change, for example moving a mounting hole, and you then perform a push of your design changes, the ignored change may be overwritten, since in your version the mounting hole still has the old location. The MCAD designer can avoid losing their change by not accepting your mounting hole move. When you accept the changes, the origin may shift, after which it will need to be set again. For more information on why this happened, see the following videos. Finally, after accepting the selected changes, the PCB acquires the exact look that the mechanical engineer has set. If, after this moment, the mechanical engineer makes some changes, the electrical engineer will see them in the same way, which will allow them to work without distraction.